Growing up, I always loved video games. Ever since I was, I first picked up a controller and played on a mouse and keyboard, I loved video games, and I found myself above average. Get up, get up, get up, get up. I always wanted to play competitively, but never got an opportunity. You can't just jump into college and then you can go professional. It's just kind of like, there's this gray area. Hey guys, I'm Riley Gamont. I'm a junior here at George Fox, and I am a marketing and youth ministry major, and this is the day of life of an esports athlete. Wake up, get dressed, come down, make my coffee, eat breakfast, and usually just talk to one of you boys. I've never had eggs with that like nothing on it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not that good. <laughs> so I parked right behind Lashana because it's kind of packed today and I'm walking to my first class. It's 8.50 I think and I just love going walking through the valley right next to the river. I'm about to walk into my first class of the day. It's Ethics by Lindsay Hankins. And I really enjoy this class because Lindsay really just brings her personality to the class and makes it fun to just learn and listen and it's super interactive. So I'm actually about to head there now. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So let's pray. We'll do our introduction and then we'll get going. Open up with prayer is like a really good way to start off my day. And it's just a good way to just sit back, think your thoughts through, and just listen to what she has to say and have her pray over us is something that's really unique with George Fox and something that I enjoy. I really enjoy our class because this is my ethics class and you get to learn how to be a better person and treat other people better and like just different perspectives of life and things that are going on in the world. But he has three rules, okay? What are they? Make sure you know those. He organizes his sermon around that. Two. I want you to name the things that you found interesting, things that stuck out to you, and don't leave it at that. What's the most important part? Why? Why did it strike you? Was it annoying? Was it profound? Did it make you fundamentally question your career? What is it that struck you and why? I just got done with my first class of the day and usually between classes I have a couple of hours to just do homework and conduct research on the opposing team. So I'm going to be using this time with you guys to explain why I picked George Fox. George Fox is definitely one of those schools that you feel like home. You feel like you are known. Like no one does not know each other. Everyone wants to get to know you. So I'm a marketing major and I picked marketing because I just love interacting with people. I love leading people. I love just making people smile and just having a conversation with someone. And I'm hoping with this major I can be something along the esports, like be an esports coach, market for an esports team, or just be the main marketer for a small business. The esports team that got established this semester really just made my dream come along. It was great talking to you guys, but you guys gotta go. I gotta conduct some research for the opposing team tonight, and I'll get a little bit of homework done before my next class. It was good talking to you guys. Hey guys, this is our gaming arena. This is where we host our practices, games, scrimmages, and pod review. Right now we host two game titles, Rocket League and League of Legends. Each title has three teams, Varsity A, Varsity B, and JV. And I'm about to actually jump into JV um, meeting right now to help coach them and for the upcoming game today. What's exciting today is that we are playing by all the block. 
Miles is the director of eSports. He's the one who gets us all our jerseys, all our gear. He's ordered all the computers. He hires a uh, hierarchy like coaches like for Rocket League and League of Legends. He's, he's the guy who runs literally everything. Whatever he wants us to do, we do, and he's kind of like the overseer of everything in this eSports arena, and I personally feel like he's been doing a great job since. Hey guys, right now I'm with two of our eSports athletes right now, and I'm going to have them introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Kalena, and my name is Mei and we both play League of Legends. So why are you guys on the eSports team? Um, I just think it's really cool to be in a community that isn't really well represented and kind of just being able to be a part of that and helping that community grow. I joined eSports because I like playing League and it was a great opportunity to play with a community of people that also had the same interests as me. Alright, thank you guys so much for just answering my question real quick. I guarantee you everyone is wanting to know. Norlax is when the Rocket League team sweeps a team 3-0 or reverse sweeps and then everyone on the mount, like team gets one. So right now, two teams have it right now, so there's six of us that have it. The Snorlax chain started with one of the Rocket League guys. He's super into Pokemon, and he kind of asked Miles was like, about getting a chain, being like, hey, if we do this, we get the chain, and we get to keep it until we lose. Hey guys, we're about to start our match right now, and I'm actually with my teammate Kai, and I'm just going to ask him, like, what are you, what are you doing right now? You know, I, my hands are cold, so I'm just warming them up real quick. Um, just kind of get my settings going, because the computer messes everything, resets everything, so I just got to play with it. But yeah, just getting ready. And that was the day in life of an esports athlete. Thank you guys so much for joining me in my day, and I'll catch you guys later. Sure. Let's hit it! Let's go! Yes! We got this! Let's go! Day in the life! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! One of those must have work. I have to say one more time, just like, let's go! Go Bruins! Yeah! <laughs> okay, I need to compose myself. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan, for like taking time out of your day to do this question and answer. And third. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jonathan, for like taking your time out of your day to do this question and answer. <laughs>